Hi, I'm Adam Hamilton with Hedina Adventure Car. Come join me on a walkthrough of the INEOS Grenadier, where I will follow the logic of the configurator found on INEOSGrenadier.com. So the first option to make is uh, to go for a utility wagon, which is the blank canvas that you equip with uh, the equipment to suit your needs and you also have the bell staff editions field master and trail master uh, on this particular car we are looking at a trail master and for example you can see that we have rear side windows on the field master and trail master whilst on the uh, utility wagon it's a rear side panel of, of metal it's a no cost option to switch either way you can go from rear panel to window or the other way around let's start by checking out the engine options this particular car is fitted with the inline 6 BMW engine it's a petrol it has 282 horsepower and 450 newton meters of torque. It's also available with a inline 6 3 liter BMW engine diesel that puts out 245 horsepower and 550 newton meters of torque. While we have the bonnet open, I'll show you how you can charge the battery which is located on under the rear seat but for easy access you can charge using this plus under the red cap and then ground directly to the engine. The trail master that we're looking at here can be identified by the raised air intake as well as the BF Goodrich KO2 tires on steel wheels. You also have the exterior utility belt where you can fit various options such as tables, bike holders. I think there will be a vast aftermarket for the utility belts. Looking inside the car, we see the durable utility trim, which is standard on the Trail Master and the utility wagon, whilst the Field Master has the black leather trim as standard and gray and black leather seats as a no cost option. And it's all Recaro seats. The Ineos Grenadier comes with Scottish white as the standard option for exterior color, but you can also have the magic mushroom, Eldoray blue, sterling silver, Sella green, Queen's red, shale blue, Donny gray, inky black, or Britannia blue. You can also choose a uh, contrast roof, which is available in Scottish white and inky black. The last color option is the uh, ladder frame, which comes in black as standard, but can also as option be gray or red. Looking at the back of the car, we see the access ladder, which is standard on the Field Master and Trail Master, while it's an option on the utility wagon. Here we see the heat reflective privacy glass, which is optional. And looking on top of the car, we see the Safari windows which is standard on the field master but optional on the other cars. And they can be completely removed and store in a protective case that comes with the car. The spare wheel can be used to stow away things that you don't want to bring inside your car. You open the spare wheel cover like this and 
you have a space to store for example the recovery kit if you have a winch uh, on this particular model it's lockable which is an option I mentioned the exterior utility belts earlier see them running on the doors and all the way to the back also mentioned earlier is the utility tra trim standard on Trailmaster and the utility wagon the uh, Fieldmaster has the uh, leather trim in black or black and grey heated seats are included on the leather trim but an option for the utility trim looking at the steering wheel and the handbrake as well as the handlebar on the passenger side we have Nappa leather on this car which is standard but it also comes with saddle leather that you see now that I have moved to another car so you have this brownish uh, leather on the steering wheel the handbrake as well as the uh, grab bar on the passenger side In the center console you have uh, USB A and C charging. On this model we have the lockable uh, center console which is standard on Fieldmaster and Trailmaster. This is the compass. Now the ignition is off so it's not lit up. Looking at the floor of a car, we have the heavy-duty flooring with drain valves on this model. It's a plastic material that can easily be hosed out. We also have the carpet floor mats on top of that. But we'll move to a version that has the optional carpet flooring where you see that it's uh, covered with... Uh, a uh, textile mat all around which gives some sound dampening but obviously not as good to hose out as the other one the rough pack consists of the BF Goodrich KO2 tires that you see here and also front and rear locking differentials it's Eton e-lockers so they are uh, electronically controlled the smooth pack that comes standard on Fieldmaster and Trailmaster includes rear view camera park assist power heated exterior mirrors heated windscreen washer jets the central storage box lockable that we saw earlier Pad puddle lamps and ambient uh, door lightning auxiliary charge points and uh, alarm and immobilizer the uh, Ineos Grenadier comes standard with permanent four-wheel drive it's also standard with the center locking differentials and uh, the uh, front and rear locking differentials as an option standard on the Trailmaster raised air intake standard on the Trailmaster you can also add pre-cyclone cleaner as the top part if you're driving in extreme conditions or just want to look cool For easy access to the car, you can add side runners running along the side of the car. We don't have any of those accessories fitted to this car. And you can also choose the rock sliders, which goes uh, closer to the body and uh, 
protects you uh, when you're driving in uh, tough terrain. Looking at the front of the car, we have the optional heavy duty winch, which also comes with a reinforced ladder frame. You open this by unscrewing the two screws, doing it with one hand here, and opening up like this. Recommend you use two hands, not holding a camera. Here you see the winch, it's a, it's a red winch, it comes with a remote control and you can also release the silver lever to the right which then gives you a free wheel function so you can pull out the cord. On the back uh, you can also mount a 3.5 ton winch. You attach it where the tow bar sits and connects power to the NATO socket on the left side. Uh, on the right side you have the normal connection for your uh, trailer. Looking inside the car, we're in the back seat and with the auxiliary charge points you get the USB-C as well as USB-A port. And if we move to the back of the car, we can also find the 12 volt outlet here. Uh, looking under the rear seat on the right side, we see the auxiliary battery, 105 amps lead acid battery, which is standard on the Trailmaster, option on other models. Looking at the left side, uh, we don't see the uh, main battery, which is hidden to the left, but we see the fuse box and the connection to the auxiliary battery. Here we see the switches for the high load auxiliary switch panel and electrical preparation. The, the um, one uh, down to the left leaves power on for the 12 volt outlets and the uh, USB charging even if the ignition is turned off. You have uh, outlets on the roof, outlets under the bonnet outlets in the footwells in the front. On the roof of the car you have four outlets that you easily access. Open it like this and you will see the so-called Deutz connector. Three of the outlets are running on the same circuit the same switch and can be used for working lights while one, the front right one, is on its own circuit and could be used for the LED bar for example. The rear doors are split in a 30-70 configuration. We start by opening the smaller door, opening the big door, we see the luggage compartment, lots of space. On this Trailmaster, the interior utility belt is standard. We have the quick access points that you can um, move uh, that I will show you in a second. Pull it out like that and back in another position. Uh, the other variants, the utility, um, utility wagon and the field master has uh, anchors at uh, each each uh, front and rear to secure goods and uh, you can also have a uh, divider a cargo uh, net either behind the first row or behind the second row. Looking up on the side of the car you also have uh, points to uh, secure your cargo. Now we're looking at the switches on a car which is not fitted with the uh, uh, 
high load auxiliary and electrical preparation so you have four switches instead of the eight we have the front and rear differential locks see the dimensions of the car it's 2.03 meters high 2.15 wide off-road mode uh, the left button turns off uh, parking sensors for example not to not disturb you when you're off-roading and the evading mode to the right uh, turns off the engine fan you can go in water as high as 80 centimeters ESC off and downhill which uh, hold, holds the car at slow speed while you're going downhill uh, exterior lights you have leveling for the headlamps to the left and the aux button to the right turns off I'll, I'll, I'll show you I'm, I'm giving high beam here you see the headlamps turn on the aux lights and you also have the uh, lights in the grill like that Moving to the driver's seat, you see the control for the heated seats, you have the fan speed, you have uh, the uh, cold, hot and the outlets you choose. You have the uh, defroster and the uh, rear uh, heated window, AC on off, recirculation disengage the auto start stop volume and uh, parking radar on and off looking in the middle here we to the left we see the uh, shifter for the ZF 8 speed automatic and to the right we have the uh, lever for the uh, Tremec transfer case high low gear as well as engaging the central differential lock. We also have the uh, buttons and the rotary wheels for the main display and the uh, menu. Looking at the steering wheel, you have the horn in the middle, the friendlier toot button have the volume control skip um, forward to the left you have the controls for the cruise control as well as uh, the phone on the side of the car uh, if you have a raised air intake this is hidden but this is the normal air intake and you also see the badge with Union Jack and the German flag British roots German engineering. So I hope you enjoyed the walk around of the car and uh, thanks for watching.